Something sinister is happening in Iceland that is attracting the attention of volcanologists from all over the world. The processes that have begun to take place in the depths there in recent days do not bode well. If what experts reasonably fear happens, Iceland in particular, but also nearby Europe is in big trouble. In this video, let's explain what this is all about, whether there is a reason to be concerned about further developments. Iceland lies on the boundary between the Euroasian and North American tectonic plates, and earthquakes and volcanic eruptions are relatively common here. However, the events of recent months and especially weeks suggest that this time will be different. Already in July this year, Iceland's volcanoes were their presence known. At that time, the authorities warned tourists to not go near the Fagradarsfjat volcano because of the toxic gases that were being released as the eruption escalated. Gas pollution was high and dangerous in the vicinity of the eruption. The Icelandic volcano located just 40 to 50 kilometers southwest of the capital Reykjavik is an attractive tourist destination. Smoke was rising and lava was flowing from the volcano at that time. Smoke could also be seen from the road connecting Reykjavik to the international airport, but the volcano did not cause any major problems at that time. Indeed. Further research and analysis by volcanologists confirm that the summer eruption was the beginning of the volcanic activity of a huge volcano. In early November, the ominous signals were confirmed in what seemed like hundreds of sudden smaller earthquakes. These are the unmistakable concomitants of the impending volcanic eruption. Due to the tremors, nearly 4,000 residents were preemptively evacuated from the fishing port of Grindavik over the weekend. The Svartsinki Geometro power plant, which is located about 6 km from Grindavik, should be secured by a large protective dam. The plant provides hot and cold water and electricity for the Reykjanes Peninsula. But this situation has escalated in recent days. The evacuated Grindavik has begun to sink into the ground. White cracks have appeared in the streets of the evacuated ghost town and some houses have cracked. Scientists have discovered that a 15 km long magma tunnel now stretches beneath the city and its surroundings, reaching down to the seabed. Literally, they said, under Grindavik, lava is rolling like an underground freight train. The city is gradually sinking and getting closer to the lava. The western part of Grindavik has fallen more than a meter in the past week. The magma on the Reykjanes Peninsula is only about 800 meters below the surface and it is inevitably penetrating the surface through the centuries-old fissure, as aerial photographs suggest. Scientists do not expect an explosive eruption, which would seem to be positive news, but it's the other way around. It's the worst-case scenario, because in an explosive eruption, volcanic material is violently ejected into the surrounding area, and it's usually a relatively short episode. A low-intensity eruption means that lava will be pouring out of the fissures for months, even years. Should this happen, the lava will probably head south towards Grindavik and west towards the Svartsvinki Geometro power plant and the Blue Lagoon, one of the Iceland's most famous tourist attractions. The current eruption threatening the Reykjanes Peninsula is a part of the cycle of a volcanic activity that returns roughly once every 1000 years, and experts said that that time has now come. According to volcanology professor Clive Oppenheimer of the Cambridge University, periods of inactivity last between 600 and 1200 years. These are followed by periods of eruption lasting 200 to 500 years. If these ominous words come true, Iceland is in for some tough years, as not only lava but also ash and dust can cause major impact on the surrounding climate. What Iceland's volcanoes can do was shown, for example, by the Kafla volcano in 536. Then, thanks to the eruption, the Little Ice Age began in Europe, causing famine, disease, and the deaths of millions of people and bringing the ancient era to a definite end. In the caption, you will find a link to the video where this event is discussed in the detail. So, should we be worried? For the developments will show. We will certainly keep an eye on it. To make sure you don't miss any more videos, subscribe to this channel. We will be happy for a like if you like our work. You can also donate any amount of work by clicking on the heart below the video. Thank you and take care.